YouTube just made four major algorithm changes and if you take advantage of these, it's going to help you blow up your small channel on YouTube. I've been posting on YouTube since 2019 and these are the biggest changes that I think I've ever seen. Change number one is you can now upload three minute YouTube shorts, but I do want you to note something and it says it right here in this note. Longer shorts may not show up as shorts within your channel page right away and you may not see any traffic from the shorts feed just yet. Essentially, I would only recommend posting shorts that are over one minute long, so from one minute to three minutes, if you're trying to rank for search on YouTube because otherwise they might not actually get views from the YouTube shorts feed because the YouTube algorithm actually isn't set up for these long shorts yet. And here's what I actually mean by this. If you understand how the YouTube algorithm actually works, YouTube looks at two things when they try to decide whether or not they have an audience for your content. First and foremost, they look at the topic of the piece of content that you just created. Secondly, they look at the length of that piece of content. So even if you upload a three minute short right now on a topic that a ton of people have interacted with, there's gonna be nobody that has interacted with a piece of content that is at length on that topic right now, which means YouTube isn't going to think that they have an audience for your content, but this all changes when it comes to search. Why? Because YouTube search is trying to optimize for two things. One, that your video answers the question that somebody searched for, and two, that it keeps people on YouTube for the longest time possible. Now, right now, there are a bunch of pieces of shorts showing up in YouTube search that are 10 seconds long, 20 seconds long, 60 seconds long. So if you upload a video that is two minutes long or three minutes long, and you are able to get those people to watch that video for 50% of the time, well, guess what? You're gonna keep people on YouTube longer than those other videos, and then your video is gonna rank for search so long as you implement this next change. But before I tell you about it, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free YouTube growth course so you can get it the pinned comment below. It's going to share with you things like the best time to post on YouTube, the best hashtags to use, how to monetize your channel, and so much more. The next algorithm change is that they are reprioritizing search results that have the four things that you're going to see right here. The first thing is that you need to be adding chapters to your content. If you want to be able to rank for search, you want your content to stand out. And guess what? Now it's going to show whether or not you have chapters in your content, which is going to help your video stand out, which is going to help you get more clicks, which is going to help you rank higher in search. The second thing that they're going to be looking for is they want to see that the term that somebody searched for, for example, I did a search here how the YouTube algorithm works. YouTube algorithm shows up in the first 10 seconds of the creator provided video transcript. If you do not provide them with the transcript and it does not have that keyword, it is going to be incredibly hard for you to be able to rank for search, but we can't stop there because there are two other things. Next thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure that your video is crafted well enough so YouTube can literally look at it and give an AI generated video summary. So this video right here explores the YouTuber's journey and growth and emphasizing the importance of experimentation embracing imperfection, blah, blah, blah. But essentially, YouTube needed to be able to create that so somebody can click on that and see what the video is actually about. And then finally, the last thing you need to make sure that you're doing is you need to make sure the keyword that you were trying to rank for on shirts shows up twice within your description. As you can see here, it's in bold right here, it's in bold right here, and that is why all four of these videos are showing when somebody does a search for YouTube algorithm on a mobile device. And if you aren't doing these four things in your videos, it is going to decrease the odds that your video is going to show up when somebody does a search for it, which by the way, is one of the easiest ways to get views 24 seven, one of the easiest ways to make sure the right people are seeing your content. And it is by far the easiest way to be able to make more money and sell people things on YouTube. Now there are two other changes that we need to talk about. And the last one is by far the most important if you're a small channel that's trying to make a full-time living on YouTube. But first, I did wanna emphasize something. If you wanna grow the fastest as possible, if you wanna grow as fast as humanly possible on YouTube right now, you need to be uploading both long form content and both shorts content. Because if you are only uploading shorts, you're only hitting half the audience that you can reach. And if you're only uploading long form content, you're only hitting half the audience that you should reach. And you need to be uploading both types of content to maximize the amount of views that you get. Because whether or not somebody's searching or watching YouTube on a TV or on a computer or on a phone, they're going to get shown different content and you need to 
make sure that you are showing up there, especially as YouTube makes all of these changes. Now, the next YouTube algorithm change that you need to be aware of is that you need to start posting less on YouTube. What do I mean by this? If you have a video rank one out of 10, like this video right here, you need to make sure that you take 24 to 48 hours off posting on YouTube, because if not, what's going to end up happening is you're gonna get in YouTube's way of actually showing that content to more people. And this is a recent change. Back in the day, you were able to flood YouTube. And when I say back in the day, I'm talking just a few months ago. You were able to post several times a day on YouTube, but that is not what you should be doing now if the YouTube algorithm chooses one of your videos and says, we have an audience for this piece of content and want to show it to more people. If that's the case, I would take 24 to 48 hours off of posting on YouTube because the only thing that is going to happen from you posting another video is that video, more likely than not, isn't going to get good reach and it's going to step on the toes of that last video that you uploaded. And this is a great thing because it actually buys you more time to create a good video for your next upload instead of feeling like you need to keep running on the treadmill of trying to provide YouTube with as many videos as humanly possible because that just doesn't help right now with this current YouTube algorithm. And I do want to warn you, this is actually different when it comes to long form content and when it comes to short form content. And if you're publishing to your subscribers or if you're publishing to your non-subscribers. But essentially what you want to think about here is whether or not the content that you're uploading is going to be hitting the same audience. If the content is going to be hitting the same audience, I would strongly suggest waiting that 24 to 48 hours. If the content isn't going to hit that same audience, well then I would question why you're even going to post that video on YouTube because more likely than not, YouTube isn't going to have an audience for that piece of content on your channel and then boom, you're gonna kill the momentum that you're currently getting on YouTube and remember, YouTube is a momentum-based game because every view that you get on YouTube makes you eligible for seven more views in the future. So if you don't take advantage of those views that you're eligible for in the future, guess what ends up happening? YouTube just isn't going to push out your content because they don't think that you're actually building a thriving community or a group of viewers that wants to keep coming back to your channel. Which brings me to the last most important change with this current YouTube algorithm, and that is that YouTube is pushing out small channels more than ever before. If I just come to a random homepage right now, I was just watching this podcast, which is why I'm getting shown this content. I just watched a Drake video, which is why I'm getting shown this music content and I've watched a few of these guys videos in the last few days because he's got great content and that is why I'm getting shown his content but why am I getting shown this video just because it's a small channel in fact if I come over here they only have 4,000 subscribers so YouTube is serving up this content to me and if I keep scrolling down what you're gonna notice is there are going to be more and more small channels than there ever have been before on YouTube and if I keep scrolling more and more I'm actually gonna notice something different what I'm going to notice is that there aren't as many shorts on my YouTube homepage anymore. Here's another really small channel, and if we scroll up, I actually scrolled past a few other really small channels. But if we scroll down here, we're gonna to have to scroll pretty far to be able to find YouTube shorts, and there's a reason for this. Because what I recently did was clicked on this X right here and said not interested. And then what that does is hides the YouTube short shelf for 30 days, which again, goes back to my comment earlier of why you need to be uploading both long form content and both short form content. Because if somebody accidentally clicks this not interested, they're not gonna get shown shorts on their homepage for 30 days. And if that's where you normally got your views from on shorts, well, guess what? You're not gonna get the reach that you normally used to get. So you need to make sure that you're hedging against this because right now is the biggest opportunity ever to grow on YouTube. But the three changes that I showed with you before and literally just proved to you that YouTube is showing more small channels than ever before, which makes this one of the biggest opportunities ever for you to be able to grow on YouTube. In fact, I just helped this small channel go viral. I helped this small channel go viral and I helped this creator gain over 900,000 subscribers. And if you want results like that, I personally wanna work with you to help you get results. So please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement 
everything that I share with him in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back, zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.